Okay, let's have a look at what we've created. Over here in the templates folder, we've seen that, well, Dreamweaver for a start has automatically created a folder called templates. And inside it, we've created a template called dogtest1.dwt, Dreamweaver template. You'll notice it has a different extension to a normal web page and it acts differently too. It has editable regions and it has non-editable regions when used in conjunction with a page created from it. So let's now make a new page or a couple of pages quickly to show you how it works. So I'm going to choose new and this time I'm going to choose one from a template and I'm going to choose from, well, I've got lots of, I've got this uh, folder, this particular site open and dog test one is highlighted. So I'm just going to create a page. I keep that ticked because that's very important. And this page I'm going to call something. I'll save it as, um, dog two. I'll close that up. And I'm going to create a second page. And now by default, it comes up already. And this page I'm going to call dog three. Dog three. Okay, so what I'm looking at, <clears throat> and we can see when we pass the cursor around the area, I'm showing a symbol that means that I can't edit these regions. I mean the page that I created from the template. And if we look at the code, we can see actually most of it's grayed out. And this is the only area, the content of the editable region, where I could add content. We come to design view. I could just add content and in fact I could save it control s but I can't affect anything else if I want to change the non-editable regions then I need to go back and open the template folder again sorry the template file so I'm going to open that up and in this case I'm going to use the navigation that I created from an earlier test last week. So if I look at it in code view, there's the area where I had the navigation. But in my top nav test, remember the one where I created the bar, I quite liked the interactivity of this one. So I'm going to use it. And I'm going to do that by simply cutting and pasting the code in so here we have um, the code for the nav like this. I'm going to control C to copy it or I could right click and choose copy. And then I'll go to my dog walk area and I'm going to put it right there in place of that. OK, so if I come back to my design view, we can see it looks quite ordinary. It's not at all as we planned it to be. Just check I put it in the right place. Uh, yes, it appears to be in the right place in its own navigation area. So now I'm going to think, how do I get the styles there? Well, we remember that over here, I had a special style sheet just for that navigation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach that style sheet. So in CS Designer, I'm going to go plus add CSS and I'm going to attach an existing style sheet. And I need to find where that is. And in fact, it's inside here top nav okay 
and we can see that immediately all the, those characteristics are brought in. And all I need to do now is to actually change those so that they look like what it was before in the previous page. So that was going from memory. I'll just open up one of those test pages to compare. It was home, what I offer, where I am. So home, what I offer. And the third one was where I am. And in fact, while I'm at it, I may as well link these all together. So I've got the second one. So I recall the second one was going to link to the, well, I'll do that in a later one. Suffice it to say that I've now updated when I save, control save, it says, do you want me to update all the files attached to this template? I'd say yes. Okay. And it's done that. Before I go too far, okay, close the navigation. Um, index file I can close. I can close the template file. I actually want to now fix this up a bit so that they've got appropriate names. And from memory, I think I put them, is it here? Let's open up this one. No. Okay. So I need to move these into the right area. I'll take these two pages here. And I'm going to drag them down into assignment one. And it updates all of the changes. And then I'm going to firstly check I'm on the right one. Yep, that was the one I wanted. I'm going to rename that index old. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to create a new home page for my website. I'll go File, New, from the same template, Create. And now I'll go Save As, and I'm going to save it as Index. Yeah. Uh, so I'll save it as index save and now I have a three page website that's it